Hi, John Hart here. I'm with my son Gabriel once again. Uh, we caught ourselves in the middle of our workout on Gabriel the other day and we decided to film a few of his exercises for you. He was doing chest and back that day. So today he's already completed his chest workout. He claims his arms are a little bit tired, but I'm going to roll with he's going to do these just fine. Gabriel's been doing pull-ups for his entire life since he was one years old when I used to push his behind up on a chinning bar at the gym. So I know I've seen Gabriel rip out a dozen of these pull-ups with an under grip. So today as part of his workout, uh, we like to keep him in that 8 to 15 range. And I know he's going to show us some real pretty pull-ups with an under grip, just about 6-8 inches apart. He can have that variation, it's his choice, whatever's most comfortable for him. and. We're going to keep, as I said, those repetitions between 8 and 15, and he's going to, when he jumps up on the bar, he's going to keep those legs from swiveling and swinging all over the place. When I train a lot of teenagers, when we do get around to doing pull-ups, you know, there's a coordination issue with most of them where you see the legs just swinging all over the place. And in this case, Gabriel, as I said, has a little bit of an advantage. He's been doing these all his life, so I know his legs are not going to be swinging all over the place, right? Okay, so as we get a really good video of him today for you, showing us how he does his pull-ups, teenagers and pull-ups, excellent exercise. Go ahead, Gabriel, why don't you jump on up there and show him how it's done. Okay, and here we go. Nice and smooth. One, two, and notice how he keeps the legs down. He's not lifting his knees up towards his chest. Three, four, he's letting his back muscles, his arms, and the back of his shoulders do the work. Six, go ahead. Seven, nice. Come on, you have another one in there. Up. Eight, and down extra slow. We always take that last repetition very slowly. We take the negative on that repetition, just like that. Good, good, you can jump off, Gabriel. A nice set of eight from Gabriel, even though I've seen him do 12 in the past. But, in all fairness to him, he's put on a little bit of muscle and body weight in the last couple of years and grown about a foot. So, I know he's weighing a little bit more, probably a little bit more difficult for him. But, here we go. Gabriel did a nice set of pull-ups. Why do I prefer pull-ups, okay? The thing about it is, is your shoulder blades operate and your rotator cuffs operate in conjunction with your back muscles your arms, and again, it's exercising those stabilizer muscles, those accessory muscles, not just the big lats, the big biceps, the big forearms. We're also creating stabilization in those shoulder joints anytime you do a pull-up as opposed to a pull-down. When you do a pull-up versus a pull-down, the shoulder blades, or even this way, the shoulder blades pin themselves up against the back of your rib cage and that creates stabilization by activating those rotator cuffs. So we like to have that happen on a regular basis when we do those pull-ups anytime we can. We'll still do pull-downs once in a while, but mainly it's pull-ups rather than pull-downs. That's it for today, right? Yes. Unless you want to knock out another 15 real quick. No, that's it for today. From our hearts to you, can we get one of these? From our hearts to you, John Gabriel Hart. Thank you.